Want to experience the old and the new? Visit Guthrie, Oklahoma's most unique destination. Trendy boutiques, collectible antiques, and galleries full of fine art. And don't forget about our live professional theater and challenging golf. Guthrie also features a wide selection of great dining choices. While visiting, enjoy one of our quaint lodging facilities. Stay the week or stay a lifetime. Uniquely Oklahoma. This is Motor Coach Travel News, MTN, from the American Bus Association. Here's Dan Ronan. Welcome to the May edition of the American Bus Association's Motor Coach Travel News. I'm Dan Ronan. As we approach Memorial Day, the nation's motor coach companies are stepping up, helping our military families and veterans. It's called Carry the Load, and for 27 days, covering 2,000 miles from West Point, New York to Dallas, Texas, relay teams have been walking nonstop. The goal is to raise awareness of Memorial Day and highlight the sacrifices of men and women in the military, police, firemen, other first responders, and their families, especially those that have sacrificed their lives for our country. And with them, every step of the way is a very visible entertainment motor coach that's being provided by ABA member, Star Entertainment Coaches of Atlanta. But what was really amazing is just the impact on safety and security and visibility and just the, the recognition that we've gotten along the road because the, the, the coach is so significant. It's just pretty, the way it's wrapped, the way it's driven, uh, just kind of what it, uh, the credibility we're given as an organization by being in a platform like that. Uh, it's been really amazing. Carry the Load is raising money for several military nonprofits that serve families that have lost loved ones. Snowball Express and TAPS, Tragedy Assistance Program for Survivors. Courtney Nyron lost her husband, Army Staff Sergeant Nathaniel Nyron, in Iraq in 2004. And he was one of those who, he was in the Army now and he was giving it his all. Um, he didn't want to go away to war, no one ever does, but he knew it was his duty, it's what he signed up for and he was ready yeah. for it and he gave it his all and that's how he did everything. You see the bus is wrapped, it's a great way to uh, kind of advertise and let the public know who this group is and what, what they're about. Um, the graphics on the bus really, really show um, what this is all about and who we are carry the load on its way to Dallas Memorial Day weekend. Also near Washington a few days later, actor Gary Sinise brought his Lieutenant Dan Band, named after his character in the movie Forrest Gump, to Bethesda Naval Hospital. It was a concert for wounded warriors and the hospital staff. About 5,000 people were there. D.C. area motor coach company D.C. Trails donated the motor coaches to move Sinise and the band members to and from the venue. And again this Memorial Day weekend, ABA motor coach companies across the country are taking thousands of people to military cemeteries and other locations as we pay tribute to the men and women who died defending our freedoms. The ABA thanks you for your incredible generosity and support of the military. In one of his last appearances as Transportation Secretary, Ray LaHood recently addressed the ABA's Board of Directors at their spring meeting. The Secretary praised ABA members for their commitment to safety, and LaHood said the Department of Transportation will vigorously continue its crackdown against illegally operating and unsafe motor coach companies. ABA has been fully supportive of the DOT crackdown, as ABA President and CEO Peter Pantuso and Senior Vice President for Government Affairs and Policy Clyde Hart have met several times with the Secretary as well as other top officials of the Department of Transportation and the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration. LaHood praised ABA saying, We have the cooperation of ABA. Every day your companies of ABA get up and think about safety. I'm very proud of what you're doing to make the motor coach industry the safest industry possible. The Board of Directors also presented the Secretary with an award for his four and a half years as the nation's 16th Secretary of Transportation. MTN Motor Coach Travel News continues in just a moment. The ABA's 2013 Marketplace in Charlotte, North Carolina, January 5th through the 9th. It's the largest travel and tourism show of the year and the premier show in the industry. 
It was a memorable week for the more than 3,300 ABA members who came to do business. Nothing else comes close to the ABA's marketplace. The ABA knows your time is valuable and you expect a significant return on your investment from ABA's marketplace. That's why once again we commissioned a survey by the economic consulting firm John Dunham & Associates. 2013 Charlotte was a huge success. The survey shows as a direct result of marketplace, delegates booked more than $108 million. That's a $30 million increase from the ABA's 2012 marketplace in Grapevine, Texas. The average amount a business could expect to book as a result of attending Marketplace is $78,000. Sign up now for ABA's 2014 Marketplace, Nashville, January 11th through the 15th. Go to buses.org for more information. On Motor Coach Travel News, ABA President and CEO Peter Pantuso joined us. Pete, there's a new Secretary of Transportation designate that will be coming in, the former mayor of Charlotte, Anthony Fox. Tell me a little bit about him. Well, yeah, the president has nominated uh, Mr. Fox, or Mayor Fox, to be the Secretary of Transportation. And from all we know, we think he's a very, very good choice. We've had a little bit of experience with him when we brought Marketplace to Charlotte on two different occasions. It was a great experience working with the mayor and, and with the CVB in Charlotte. Uh, the mayor is a transportation attorney. He, he actually has done some work for a bus company. So we know that he knows urban transit, livable cities, and we think he's, he's just a great Great choice for that office. We're now into the second month of this crackdown with FMCSA in terms of targeting illegal motor coach companies, the bad operators. Where's that at? Well, right now there have been almost a dozen companies that have been put out of service by FMCSA and, and by their state partners. Um, they've been very, very aggressive as we've talked about in the past. They've got teams, about 27 teams of two inspectors each that are out there looking at companies, about 250 companies that they've targeted because either they haven't been visited in a long time or they've got very, very poor safety records. And those with the poorest safety records obviously are being dealt with fairly swiftly. Uh, with over a dozen companies out of service, that's more than we've seen in a, in a long, long time. So FMCSA is very, very diligent. Secretary of Transportation Ray LaHood is focused on motor coach safety. It's one of his top priorities, and he continues to, to walk the talk, if you will, and make sure that we're a safer industry because of his work and the work of FMCSA. Just recently, you had a meeting here at ABA concerning tourism with a Commerce Department official. Why don't you tell me about that? Sure. Isabel Hill, who's the Director of Travel and Tourism at the Department of Commerce, was here at the ABA offices a couple of days ago with one of her colleagues and spent a lot of time talking to us about, first of all, the motor coach industry and how we fit into travel and tourism, what some of the goals are for the Commerce Department in terms of increasing travel and tourism on two fronts. Number one is obviously attracting more visitors from overseas and getting them here. And the other is giving people in the U.S. and and throughout North America, but primarily in the U.S., an opportunity to see the country, uh, spend their dollars here, maybe instead of taking a trip overseas, and, and looking at how to expand the tourism market. And she recognizes that as we move 700 million passengers yearly, we're a major component of the travel and tourism market and wants to do more with us and work with us in the future. In June, you'll be in Las Vegas attending Pow Wow at their convention. Why is this important to destinations and to hotels? travel operators, why is this important? Yeah, powwow is, is something that's put on annually by the U.S. Travel Association, and it's really where the domestic travel and tourism industry assembles so that overseas buyers of travel who are bringing groups here to the U.S. can come and look at product and, and talk about product, develop tours and itineraries, and, and figure out where to send their groups. You know, it's much like a marketplace, uh, except it's a marketplace for the international buyer. ABA is there with a booth for a couple of reasons, to promote our members, uh, not only motor coach operators as these tour companies are looking to move their passengers around and looking for good, safe companies, but also to promote our travel members. So if a, if a buyer comes to us and is looking for a hotel in a certain market and we have an ABA member there, that's who we recommend. So it's a great way for us to, to promote our members to all of these international buyers who are under roof. ABA President and CEO Peter Pantuso joining us on MTN. By now, you should have received the 2014 proofs for ABA's Motor Coach Marketer, the annual publication that tells other motor coach travel and tourism businesses about your company.
These proofs are from ABA. Earlier this year, some scam artists were sending out unauthorized fraudulent solicitations. And in March, ABA sent you a member alert about these illegal businesses. Now, we want you to know the proofs you've received and are reviewing are legitimate. Please make sure you update them and send them back so your accurate information is published. There's more information about this on our homepage of our website at buses.org. If you still haven't signed up yet, there's still time to join me May the 23rd. That's a Thursday in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. CNJ Lines is hosting a one-day comprehensive crisis communication seminar. I'll be joined by Peter Knudsen of the National Transportation Safety Board for this five-hour session. As ABA members, you know how important your reputation is, and during an incident, the media will be calling, wanting answers. Let us help you. Contact C&J Lines at 1-800-258-7111. That's 1-800-258-7111. This valuable seminar is open to all ABA members, and we invite members from the travel and tourism industry to attend. Call C&J now. Space is limited. The Bus Industry Safety Council Spring Meeting is coming up June the 10th and the 11th. That's in Herndon, Virginia, near Dulles Airport. If you're a BISC member and haven't registered yet, or you're not a BISC member and you'd like to attend, go to buses.org forward slash safety. The Bus Industry Safety Council is the industry's peer-to-peer -peer organization that helps motor coach companies be the best in class and improve ways in their operations. As a safe operator, we urge you to sign up for the BISC and learn more about the many outstanding programs that are available. It's time now for the Green Operator segment, sponsored by MCI. This was the scene recently at the U.S. Department of Transportation in Washington as key government officials viewed a new 2013 MCI J4500 motor coach that was on display. It was part of the DOT's annual Earth Day festivities. ABA member and Lorton, Virginia motor coach company DC Trails donated the use of the coach. DOT officials say they were especially impressed with the many environmental and safety improvements on new motor coaches. It is part of a new generation of motor coaches that uh, I think will really help prevent um, crashes to begin with. And it's great to see uh, you know, seat belts in, in, in every seating position and so many of these um, high-tech uh, features that will help drivers do the job that they want to do. Um, and, and of course, uh, you know, it's great to see how, uh, how green motor coaches can be. DC Trail says one particular safety item on the coach convinced them this was the right purchase. It's a small camera on the outside mirror so drivers can see the blind spots. You know, most of the accidents that, are, that happens with pedestrians is because of the driver uh, cannot see the blind side. And with this new feature, is there. You just have to use it. You can see. DC Trail says now 80% of its motor coach fleet are three-point seat belt equipped. Back in a moment on MTN. This coach runs on diesel, which is about 30% more efficient in its combustion than gasoline. But I know what you're thinking. Diesel isn't clean burning. But that's no longer true, because today's ultra-low sulfur diesel fuel is cleaner than ever. Check this out. <laughs> See? <laughs> it burns clean. All aboard the green highway. MCI. Ultimate curb appeal. Uncompromising reliability. And that's the May edition of Motor Coach Travel News, MTN, from the American Bus Association. I'm Dan Ronan. Thanks for watching. Now, next month, we'll be on the road at the Bus Industry Safety Council meeting in Herndon, Virginia. And as always, if you have a story idea, drop me an email at mtn at buses.org. Thanks for watching.